Hi guys, welcome to our latest YouTube video, we hope you like it. We try to publish videos every week bringing great tips and tricks. Thanks for watching please subscribe. In this module I want to introduce data validation. So data validation is the ability to restrict what people can select by having lists or different options in a cell. For example, if I click into this cell and type one, two, three, or a message like that. Cell so, and type today's date. Another error message. So, question is. So the first one I want to look at is a list, and I'm going to do it down here. I'll just colour that in yellow so you can see where where I am. Data validation lives on the data tab, and there she blows data validation. So the default is any value. No. I don't want a value, I want a list. So I'm going for a list. Now you can type a list. I could go one, comma, two, comma, three. Just click OK to that for a second, and that will be my list. One, two, three. Go back into it. You can select a list. So if I select that list, that will be my list. OK. And you can also refer to a named range, which is what I want to do. So I'm going back in there. And I'm just going to type at the bottom there equals courses because I've got a list in here called courses. Now, before I click OK to that, input message is you can have that appear on the screen if you want. Select a course. Select a course. Put a quote from there. And that will appear on the screen. And then only these courses. And then you can do an error alert, something that you want to pop up. That's what's going to come up on the screen if you make a mistake. Click OK to that. There's the input message. There's a list of courses. If you type something that's not in the course, it's coming up. So that's the list option. Now the date option is similar, but basically I'll just click next to that. Data validation, going back to any value, changing that to date, then you've got an option of setting a date. So if I go the first, the first 24, and then the 31st of the 12th 24, that's the range. I'm not going to bother with the messages. Click OK. Put today's date in there, control semicolon, and then that's okay. Change that to a three. Comes up with the error message. All I want to talk about on this little session, quick look at data validation. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to do the conditional validation. So I'm going to click into this cell and just color this cell yellow and that one a different color. I'm going to create a couple of lists with a lighter color than that. So I'll call that item and I'll call that product as a title. And then I'll create a quick list. So I'll go car, tax, gas, as one list. And then product, I can do Excel, Word, access as my other list. And then I want this is to be data validation as well, so I'll do a different color for that, a little green one. So I need to name these. Now, a quick way to name multiple lists like this is to highlight the whole thing, go to the formulas, go to print from selection. In this example, I don't want the left column to name, it's just a top row, so item and product, we'll name those, click OK to that. And if you highlight those three, it's called item, and those three are called product. So data validation, Data validation, I need to put in here, but I need to do this first. So I need to call these two something. I'll call them types. Press enter if you're going to do it manually. So that now needs to just have a data validation list in that's going to refer to types. So it's a list option. And it's just going to be equals types with an S. I'm not bothering with the set one. I'm not bothering with the error messages so in this last cell which I'll call it yellow I want the indirect function to look at that and it should then show me 
the list. So go to validation, selecting list. I'm going equal indirect, opening the brackets, and I'm clicking on that cell, closing the bracket, clicking the tick, clicking OK, and then that shows me that list. If I select this list, change that one, this will then just show me those. So that's just a quick demonstration of how this whole thing works. In this section, I want to show you how you can use functions inside the data validation feature. So the first one is a green table where I cannot type the same number. No duplicates. Table, I cannot type a number. Not allowed. It can different figure at the top, and this can only be a letter at the bottom. So let's have a look at the top one. If I highlight this green area, go into data validation. It's on custom, which you can see there is a drop down list. It's the bottom option, custom. And then there's the countif function. So countif has to return true or false. The dollar signed area is the green table. Then there's a comma and it says L1, which is the first cell, which is basically replicating the active cell. Whatever the active cell is, that would be doing the same. Must equal one. It can only be one of a number one, one of two, one of three. If that said two, you'd be, it would allow you to do two number ones, etc., etc. So that's what that one is. Clicking OK to that. This one is even simpler than that. Go in there. It's still on custom. It's just is text. Is that red area text true or false? If it is, it's OK. If it's not, it comes up with an error message. That's how that one works. Now, if I quickly go and do that one, I'll go on to this little exercise and well, I'll do the duplicate one. So I'm highlighting this table. So the top cell is I4. So I'm going into that. I'm going on to custom. I'm typing equals count if, open the bracket, and I'm highlighting this table. And then I'm dollar signing that, comma, and then it needs to equals I4. I need to have the I4, and then close the bracket, and then equals one that is what you need to put in there clicking ok to that type one it lets me doesn't let me all i want to do in this little video